Now you brought something a little bit new to all of us. Uh, what's LIRADS? Yeah. So, so you know, we've been using this, these imaging criteria for years, and now what's actually come into the diagnostic radiology literature is the idea of LIRADS. And this is a reporting system that can actually standardize the way that imaging is reported by radiologists across the country. So the nice thing is that I think if you went, for example, at UT Southwestern, our radiologists would have reported it one way. Is radiologists at you know, Memorial would have reported it another way. Radiologists at Georgetown, completely different. And so um, as a clinician, you didn't know what the radiologist was truly trying to tell you. And so LIRADS was proposed as a way that we can actually standardize as a nomenclature where we can start talking to each other in a very standardized fashion. So LIRADS basically takes any lesion and it's based on criteria including size, the presence of arterial enhancement, presence of delayed washout, other features, and it classifies a, um, a lesion from LIRADS 1, which is definitely benign, all the way up to LIRADS 5, which is quote unquote definitely HCC. And so I think the lesions that we truly get concerned about are LIRADS 4, i.e. suspicious for HCC, or LIRADS 5, definite for HCC. Most, so Mark, most, most oncologists who practice are familiar with LIRADS, they're just called BIRADS. And breast imaging, same thing. Fair. Breast imaging, same number. BIRADS 5, that's breast cancer until proven otherwise. Yeah. LIRADS 5, that's liver cancer until proven otherwise. I hear and you. And the biopsy, remember, has a small, maybe a 5% chance of the stuff growing in the needle track. Right? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Let's not go there. Because <laughs> the data has shown that the chance for actually seeding from the biopsy is 0. 0.000. It shall keep going? Depends upon what study so, you look at. But, but, but you can find But we have to be careful percent. here because let me, let me carry it the other way around because I hear <laughs> this. But, but Manish, like, I mean, we need biopsy. The, the, the science is uh, being advanced is like other than what right. we heard about confirming the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. right. But what else do we need the biopsy I for? I mean, so from the perspective of a medical oncologist, we're used to having that tissue. And what we're doing with it these days is molecular profiling, right? Correct. So we're all using these, these panels, whether they're our own in-house panels, whether they're commercial panels, to look for gene mutations um, that we think may be actionable, may have some meaning in terms of what we can offer the patient, right? Sure. In HCC, that has lagged behind, I think, other diseases, but nonetheless, the, the growing trend among oncologists is that they want that information, right? And we will occasionally discover things in an HCC patient. I've had patients where a BRCA mutation was discovered or, you know, um, an MSI high status, um, which of course, as we know, is a marker for immunotherapy being effective, right? So there are reasons why you might gain valuable information from having a tissue diagnosis in addition to what Mark brought up about mixed tumors and things like that where it looked like an HCC but it ended up being more of a cholangio. These are really important pieces for us, but I think molecular profiling is a strong argument for it. Sure. Um, and we still have a lot of clinical trials that require a tissue diagnosis as well, and, and being, being at an institution where we do a lot of that, that's also an important factor. I hear you. Yeah. And, and Ruth, uh, to follow to what Manish said, uh, however, interestingly, uh, not necessarily that we're trying to defend no biopsies, but interestingly, the MSI story in regard to HCC is not really that kind of, of importance important particularity because we're giving checkpoint inhibitors to every patient with HCC regardless <laughs> if they have MSI high or not. Do you agree? Yeah, the, yeah. the rate of MSI in liver cancer is very low, yeah. MSI high, and so we do know that patients with MSI stable, which is most of the HCC uh, cases, and 15 to 20 percent of those patients respond yeah. to IO therapy. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit more in details about that, but this is an important point to just put in, 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 in the context of what we're discussing.